Uh, good evening. It's uh, March uh, 23rd in Bogart, Georgia, and uh, my name is Mike uh, Durr, Michael Durr, and I'm with my daughter Katie. Uh, we came up with the idea of uh, maybe sharing with you some of the joys of uh, our gardens. Katie has a garden next to us, and Bonnie and I have been in this particular garden 13 years, and we've gardened all our married life, which is 53 years. So I think it'd be fun to, uh, to uh, kind of give you an idea of their plants that do well, um, north and south and other ones don't and you get an early freeze some succumb and some are just magnificent in uh, the way they respond they, there's no injury there's uh, the leaves come out uh, fully flushed and on and on and on right now you're looking at behind me is a parodia it's a parodia persico vanessa and it's an upright upright uh, parodia called persian ironwood it's amazingly adaptable from chicago to atlanta georgia and I think it's one of the great garden plants or garden trees. There's many, many different uh, cultivars of this. And this is one of the best for several reasons. It leaves out, you'll actually see flowers in February. And you'll hear the bee activity, tremendous number of bees. Uh, the flowers are actually apetalous, uh, so you really don't see any great petals. But uh, the stamens, etc., are purpley. So there's a little kind of like a purple haze, especially when the sun's coming through the, coming through the branches. But as I mentioned, the bees love it. The leaves follow. The leaves are almost full size now, and again, I mentioned the date was uh, March 23rd, and the foliage will hold into late November, December when it turns a almost rich butter yellow. Some years has a little gold in it, and it's ironclad cold hardy, as I mentioned. It's heat tolerant, and it's drought tolerant. And I think uh, most of us uh, are always awaiting uh, what I call the spring awakening or rebirth, and we want to see some green. And in the uh, southeast uh, where we sit, which is zone 8A, we're blessed primarily because we can grow a lot of broadleaf evergreens and needle evergreens. And the further north you go, the tougher it is, to, especially with broadleaf evergreens, to have them actually survive and perform at their, at their maximum. So this is one tree that everybody should consider, at least consider for your garden. There's spreading forms, there's upright forms. Uh, there's even a variegated form called lamplighter, which isn't very variegated, but it's, it's there. And uh, it's worth maybe perusing, you know, get online, go to Google, and just uh, type in uh, Parodia persica, P-A-R-R-O-T-I-A, persica, P-E-R-S-I-C-A, native to northern Iran, and that southern part of where all the stands are.